Hello everyone. My name is Mari Kobayashi. I'm an associate professor in the AI and Advanced Programming Consortium at Keio University. And I am responsible for the management of this consortium. Today, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak at the Women's in Machine Learning Symposium. Let me begin with a brief explanation of what AIC is. The AI and Advanced Programming Consortium is commonly referred to as the AIC. It's a place of learning for students interested in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and programming. This is where they gather and study independently. The model of AIC is this is the organization of the student, by the student, for the student. The student teach AI and programming for other students as instructors. And the student plan and implement in the workshops by themselves. AIC's main feature is that all students can participate in all lectures, workshops, and contests free of charge. AIC was originally established to provide KO University students opportunities to improve their AI and IT literacy. We also aim to encourage AI and programming activities by students and to create a new pillar of IT human resource department in the future, focusing on artificial intelligence. Currently, one of the workshops we are organizing is the Women's AI Study Group, where women who are very beginners in IT and the programming get together, hold the study group, and end up having an AI-based idea song. Now, meet Sari Furumuro, who is in charge of this year's workshop, will give us a brief introduction. I'm Sari Hurumuro. I'm a third year student at the Department of Economics, Keio University, and I'm also a lecturer at the Women's AI Study Group. I'm honored to have this opportunity to share about our group with you today. First of all, I'd like to share the purpose of establishing this group. Traditionally, subjects such as AI and IT seems to have a smaller number of female participants in Japan. This may be due to the subject itself or the level of interest in the new technologies, as most of the female students tend to select courses in humanities. Most of the AI-driven solutions available in Japanese market are developed mainly by the males. I personally believe by having active participation of females in ideation and solutions development, the latent needs will be uncovered and the world will benefit more from the contribution. So, we have two objectives in our study group. First one is to create a community where girls interested in machine learning and programming can get it and be connected to each other. Our second goal is to offer opportunities for students to build a strong foundation in AI. We believe that our study group will encourage female students to come up with and develop unique ideas that reflect female perspectives. We are currently surrounded by so much information that we often do not know where to even start. Therefore, our course aims to resolve this issue and help students embark on a journey of AI and the benefits it can bring to our daily lives. Since I joined KO during the COVID outbreak, it was difficult for me to find like-minded friends at that time. Then, I came across this study group and learned about AI for the first time in my life. Now, I belong to a seminar as a member to analyze data and conduct joint research with prestigious companies. Had it not been for Women's AI study group, I would not have been doing what I'm doing today, and I feel grateful to the skills I've learned here. Allow me to introduce the four key members of the team here. Ms. Kobayashi, two teaching assistants, and me. 
We were collaboratively sharing ideas and opinions. Let's talk about the curriculum now. The curriculum consists of 10 classes that are scheduled during the autumn session. In the first few classes, besides lectures about the basics of AI, we focus on group work and quizzes to deepen members' understanding. In the remaining classes, we assign members to groups and organize idea thumbs to generate ideas, which are followed by feedback from professors. For the current session that is in progress as of now, the next class is going to be the seventh class this year. And I'd like to share some parts of our curriculum. To make the classes interesting and active, we ask all members to share their learnings and any research they have for home. In addition, we ask the members to use the skills learned in the class by doing their own programming. We also invite guest speakers from prestigious companies and learn from their work experience. For learning from the actual work and the credentials from such companies, group members can correlate the impact of AI on the actual world. Throughout the course, we are inviting the ideas from the group members and reflect their experiences to make our study group more meaningful. Our study group offers various benefits to our group members. Our course focuses on certain topics every year, and while reflecting the leanings in the curriculum, we provide the upgraded content that allows group members to get full benefits from the participation. Participation in our study group also offers a great opportunity to meet people from other faculties. From my own experience, meeting people from other faculties is a great opportunity as it provides a chance to learn different perspectives that allows me to be more creative and inclusive. We believe that our study group is contributing to the field of AI by creating gender diversity in the field that was primarily male-dominated. As previously said, we came up with ideas that include unique female perspectives. Let me give you an example from one of our ideas. One of the teams in our group came up with an idea called Your Baby Will Start Crying in 5 Minutes, which is a program that predicts when a baby will start crying and why they're crying. The team came up with this idea to reduce the stress of families with babies and support them to be more active in society. I believe it's a unique, worthy endeavor with female perspectives. Now, I'd like to talk about how we've been operating in the past three years and what we plan to do in the future. Our study group was established two years ago during the COVID outbreak. And all our classes for the first year was held online. Since last year, some of our classes are done face to face. When classes were held online, participants were more likely to quit halfway and it was difficult for them to get to know each other. However, in hindsight, not everything was bad. Many people joined our group since it was easy for them to access it online. And due to online option, we also had participation from the students in other campuses. We are hoping that our group allows participants to interact with members from other years as well. We truly believe that our female exclusive study group is unique. We are fully committed to the group members' learning, and we make sure that we help the group members' experience with us. It's rewarding from the individual future and social contribution perspective. We are not perfect as we have just embarked on the journey. But we are fully committed to change the landscape of female-driven AI opportunities in Japan. Thank you very much for listening to my speech.